It's been some time since the release of Stranger Things Season 3, and we have no clue yet about the fourth season. Anyway, while we're waiting, why not think of theories for the story? Well, here are a few theories for the upcoming season. Enjoy! Number 1. At the end of Season 3, it was revealed that Eleven had lost her powers since the Starcourt Mall showdown, but are we really to believe the show will simply go on without another nosebleed for Millie Bobby Brown's iconic character? Heading more into her teenage years, her powers have always been lined up with her emotions, and there's a lot to unpack here. Eleven will be living in a completely new place without the comfort of Hopper or her boyfriend Mike close to her. She thinks her father figure is dead, and she could be adjusting to going to a new school depending on when the season is set. It's no crazy theory to assume Eleven is getting her powers back, but what if this time it's poisoned by her sadness and grief? Could Eleven become a darker character in Season 4? Or even the villain of the season? In a recent hint from Stranger Things writing team, they offered up Florence and the Machine's song Cosmic Love. The track is about coping with losing someone, with a standout lyric stating, So darkness I became. Whoa. Number 2. A prominent theory that has popped up has to do with the estimated year Stranger Things Season 4 will take place. The first season took place in the winter of 1983, the second in the fall of 1984, and the third in the summer of 1985. The only season of any year the show has yet to explore is spring, and one would imagine it would also take place in one year later. And in the spring of 1986, the Chernobyl disaster happened in the USSR. It's the worst nuclear disaster in history and was certainly explored in HBO's Chernobyl. In the context of the series, it could, perhaps, approach the disaster from another angle. What if the incident is actually a cover-up for an upside-down related incident that happens in the series? Additionally, there's something eerily nuclear-esque about the world of the Upside Down. There's debris everywhere, and what if demogorgons are dysmorphic humans set off from the dangerous technology? Number 3. One of the budding relationships in Stranger Things Season 3 was between Winona Ryder's Joyce and David Harbour's Hopper. The pair obviously care about each other and share a unique bond following every crazy thing that has happened in Hawkins so far. It feels as though Joyce's main character arc is finally finding happiness in her life, and Hopper could be the endgame, should be in this writer's humble opinion. In the spirit of this, Joyce's part in Season 4 could revolve around another crazy communication happening. The Season 1 Christmas light scene is memorable and it'd be a great way to tug on fans' heartstrings if Hopper could somehow tell her and Eleven he's alive by reaching into this method. The science behind the whole thing is kind of foggy, but perhaps through the Upside Down he can access the kind of signal Will did at the beginning of the show. Number 4. Of all the burning questions surrounding Season 4, how Hopper will factor in certainly tops the list. And if Hopper isn't able to put word out that he's alive and well, perhaps a conspiracy theorist of sorts will read between the lines. Brett Gelman's Murray Bauman has played an important role in the series and word is he will have an even larger role in Stranger Things next season. If there's one person who might have the chops to uncover the mystery, it's the former Chicago Sun-Times journalist and private investigator. It feels a bit far-fetched for the kids of Hawkins to venture to Russia to save Hopper, all the plane tickets and time off school, but Murray could very well book his own trip there, but maybe he'll team up with budding journalist Nancy. Do you think any of these Season 4 Stranger Things theories will pan out? Write your opinion down below, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe with the bell to be notified when we post. See ya!